Hey, I'm Rihanna. <laughs> Who wants to go? I'm Budget Rihanna. Hey, I'm Rihanna. And I want you to go to bed with me. Hey guys, this is Masi. And I want you to go to bed with me. <laughs> hey what's up guys i'm budget rihanna and welcome back to my youtube <laughs> so anyway in today's video i'm going to be following rihanna's makeup routine as well as discussing the topic of today which is the things that you should know before taking your first flight this is a video i wish i had on my first flight like my video follow subscribe Let's get started. So the first thing she does in her video is to remove her makeup, but she uses her cleanser. And you know me, I can't afford this product. I tried checking them online. I tried checking if I can afford maybe one of them, but I can't. Plus shipping is expensive. So I just opted not to. I'm not going to use expensive product. You know who comes to say that they... Is baby oil so I'm going to use baby oil and wipes um, Miss Rihanna is all for saving the planet but um, saving the planet is for people who can afford to do so I cannot it's faster to take off your makeup using um, oil and wipes than using water and soap so that's a lesson I've learned so if you watched my previous video you probably know my first point is money Make sure you carry money with you. You can use, you can bring cash or you can bring some money in your card. Either way, just don't travel empty-handed. There are some restaurants which take card and some which just take cash. The money that you have, make sure it's in the currency of the country that you are traveling to if you are traveling outside the country. If, if the layover country is a different country from the one you're going to just have a common currency like a euro most airports are likely to to accept euro compared to kenya shillings compared to usd so the next thing she does is to use a cleanser like i think cleanser is the same thing as face wash so this is what i'm going to use so the next thing i wanted to talk about is painkillers just if um if you're going to travel and it's your first time you don't know how it's going to affect you so it's better to always have painkillers with you you might have headaches some people have complained that they have headaches during their flights in my flight i had to ask uh flight attendants for painkillers so to avoid that just have your own um not supply but your own yeah just bring your own painkillers um the next thing which is like the most i think among the most important things is bags so when i was traveling the first thing i thought to myself was that it's better for me to have one big bag with a lot of luggage than to have like two or three small bags that i'll have to carry around and it's just me that was a mistake because what <sighs> that was a mistake because because i'm on my own i can't just carry like a 30 kg bag on my own it's better to have like two small bags than to have a big one remember you're the one who will deal with your luggage when you get to where you are going you're the one who will offload your luggage of that thing that goes around like this and you're the one who will put it in your in your in in the taxi or whatever you put it in also check the rules for your flight because some flights have like a a limit of how many kgs you can carry so this is another story when i was traveling they said it's 22 kgs and i didn't measure my bag my bag ended up going to i think about 30 something 32 kgs and they were adamant they said if it's not 22 kgs we'll have to offload some of your luggage and put it in a box and you'll have to pay for that process that box because they gave me a box and it's just a box a little box so my stuff some of my stuff was put into the box and some of it was put was left in my bag so that it's 20 kgs because the limit was 22 and then this other one was 10 kgs so imagine if i could have just brought two small bags each 20 20 
it would have fit all my stuff and so much more rather than bringing like a 32 kg bag and then having to walk around like when i when i landed i had to walk around with a big box and another uh, uh, bag a luggage bag and also it's important that you carry a backpack or a carry-on bag some people might prefer to carry handbags but i would say carry a backpack because it can carry more yeah yeah, so I think most of my makeup is off, if not all of it. I mean, at this point, I'll just be okay. If it was my own process, this would be fine. I'm, I'm sure even I have some makeup on my ear, but I'll just go to bed as long as I know I don't have makeup in, on my face. But today, today we are being Rihanna, so why not? I also have two in one, uh, like Rihanna does. <laughs> why not? So I got... I'm determined. Oh, it worked. Okay. Uh, this is a cleanser and a toner. So I'll use this one. So the next thing I learned uh, after my first flight was that I should have brought some entertainment. It's good if you brought your own entertainment. So if you like have a Netflix account, download your favorite shows, download your favorite favorite, favorite series. Um, If you have like music that you like on spotify make sure it's available offline so that you can watch it on the plane because for those five hours i was just bored i had nothing to do when i was waiting for my next flight i had nothing to do so make sure to bring your own entertainment a side note um the plane does provide like there's um there's entertainment options on the flight like i watched girlfriends and i watched two broke girls um on the flight so there's some things available so it's not a mass and once you land while well, you're on the layover that you are not in the flight so you don't have access to that so it's better to have your own entertainment and while you're at that make sure you carry a power bank so a normal power bank will do so one that can charge your phone your tablet or your laptop um, let's wash this off So let's analyze how our skin feels after toning. Um, I don't know. There's no like much. I feel like all these products are just a lie. I just feel like it's my skin still. There's no like fresh feeling. What am I supposed to feel after this? Vitamin E. So my skin has vitamin E now. Now we do a serum. Because hers is two in one. It's a toner and a serum. And we just use a cleanser and a toner now with the serum. I just think these words are just fancy. They just have, oh, look at this. It's like the bottle is, oh, let me do this again. It's, how do I do it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The next thing is to dress warmly. Um, Most of the movies, oh, look at that. It's like a medical tea. It's so scary. Like, why am I putting this on my face? seems medical but it's like glass so it's... now i'm a makeup guru <laughs> dress warm as warm as you can just okay not as warm as you can just put on like a jumper and a t-shirt inside and maybe a trench coat you can take them off while you're on the flight it's always important to keep warm some people say to carry blankets and what i just don't think it's that necessary because some flights will offer you like a light blanket and it also makes your luggage a bit heavier to just bring a blanket when you can just have a jacket on. Oh, the next thing before I forget, seat choice. So I hope when you're watching this video, you've not yet chosen your seat. In my own opinion, just get the seat at the window. The window seat is the best according to me. Because even if you are on the aisle, you're still going to want to peep. And you're going to have to look through another person sitting here. So why should you not? When you can, buy a window seat. That's my point. When you can buy a window seat, you're going to want the experience. And I know some people will say, oh, what if I want to use the bathroom? What if that day I want to use the bath? The, if the flight is seven hours, on average, every seven hours, maybe you go to the toilet like twice or thrice. 
and then you is their problem they're going to let you through that's your seat and if you're having like a problem a bowel movement or you need to keep going every 30 minutes you can always ask the person can we see seats because i want to keep going to the toilet but in my honest opinion if it's your first flight just get a window seat it's more private it's nice and you'll have a different experience than sitting in the aisle or sitting in the middle area of the flight well we're on our last point you can do this um thing i think you're supposed to put it on your hand are you are you supposed to just do oh yeah i think you're supposed to do this hey miss rihanna did not show me how to use hi okay maybe i should have put one of it in my hand it smells like nothing it, it doesn't smell like anything it's not even like oil i don't know what it's supposed to do uh blemish scars facial treatment oh it's a facial treatment yeah we're doing facial treatment now um the last thing that maybe is the most important thing is um food you can bring like snacks like crepes you can carry them from home uh some flights i saw said um you can also even pack sandwiches because of people who travel with family i don't know what the policy on alcoholic drink is policies matter with food but as long as you're carrying general snacks crepes uh biscuits um cook just general snacks you are allowed if you are carrying something into the plane to eat just try be mindful of others don't bring food that stinks you can always eat once you land so just carry snacks that will be fine i don't know the policy on alcohol but there's no need it's like five hours you can you can drink all you want once you land you don't need to drink while you are on your but you do you just look at the regulations most customs are, be are very wary about food because they don't want any sort of diseases associated with foods and kind of weird fruits and all that coming into the country so if you don't need an orange or that giveberry plus if you bring it from home and you manage to come through with it you'll only have it for like a week and it will be done and why take the risk of fines? Why take the risk of being embarrassed in customs? And also remember your luggage, the one that, that's going to be on the plane now in the luggage, is going to be manhandled. So most of those things are going to break. If you carry like jams, they will just pour onto your clothes. They might break the, because your luggage is not being handled delicately. It's just being tossed onto flights, put on top of it because they're assuming it's clothes and it's nothing delicate. Those things are what put people in customs for hours. You get into trouble, you get fines. Some of them will get told you're bringing diseases into the country. Once you land, you will eat all you want, you will drink all you want. You will eat all the giveri you want. There is giveri here, there's shops which sell giveri. So I'm going to mix this uh, moisturizer and that sunblock. I think I'm going to use this sunblock first because it's a spray and it says don't spray directly to your face. I think that's enough. Oh, shake well before. Um, what else? There's like unnecessary things that people say like, uh, I, okay, I wouldn't say it's unnecessary. If you fly a lot or if it's your first time and you're planning to fly a lot, then you can buy all this neck pillow. You can get your own headphones uh, because in the flight they provide you with like entertainment and they also provide you with headphones, but they are like cheap. So they are poor quality on your ear. So if that matters to you, bring your own headphones, bring your own neck pillow. But if it's just one flight that you're going to take maybe once a year, you don't need to have a neck pillow just sitting down in the house just sitting in the house yeah just sitting in <laughs> just sitting in the house so the last thing i'm going to do is moisturizer i mean i feel like my skin is is radiant and there and we're done and we're done and we're looking beautiful wow And that's my nighttime skincare routine, y'all. You're welcome. <laughs> and that's 
me following Rihanna's nighttime routine, y'all. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. I love you all. Good night. This is Marcy, and I want you to go bang. Hey guys, this is Marcy, and I want you to go to. Thank you, Bana. This is difficult. <laughs>